Hi, this is Jose and welcome to Breakthrough Growth in the very first lesson of this free course. Five things you don't know about market tech. First thing I want to tell you, why are tech markets different? So it's not the same to sell a stake than to sell technology or a SaaS. It's mainly because it, technology is a high risk perception product. So the tech market characteristics are intangible and untried technology we have emerging standards all everywhere. There are very dynamic markets. They change very quickly. There is a lot of market creation, and then there are a lot of changing cast of companies, new companies, companies that die. That leads to a lot of uncertainty for our customer, the central piece of our market strategy, the customer. Uh, and that leads to a high risk perception of the, this kind of products, the technology products. Uh, for, for our customers. Secondly, SaaS market's evolution is predictable, fortunately for us, and we know the adopter profiles that we can expect. So this is the shape of a market category and how a market, a technology market evolves. So when we are launching a SaaS or when we are launching a new technology, new product, we can expect to have these five different kinds of adopters that basically they have very different psychographic profiles. They have different needs and different goals. So the market starts on the left with the innovators and then it goes all the way right through early adopters. Then the early majority and the late majority, as you can see, early majority and late majority, they both are the 68% of the population in a given market category. So that is the mainstream, what we call the mainstream. And then finally, the last ones in uh, trying a, a technology or, or a product are the, the large. So the more on the left, the more they are focused on the benefit. Innovators and early adopters, they are mainly focused on the benefit of the product and the less risk averse they are. As the market is maturing and we go to the right, the more risk averse they are and the more they they focus their purchasing decision in the cost that they are uh, going to experience to adopt that technology. And here are some examples of different market categories. So for example, Copy AI is a product that I would say that is in the market category of copywriting with artificial intelligence or automated copywriting for marketers is I would say in the in the early adopters in talking about United States market. Um, so that market category, it's in an early market. Then we have Airtable in the market category of no-code solutions, probably um, for both small and medium business and enterprise. I think they are crossing the chasm and, and they are entering the early majority and they are in a really good position to be leaders in the in the mainstream. Then if we take a look to Stripe as an example of payment platforms, the category of payment platforms is well past the early majority. I would say it's in the late majority in the United States. And then of course we have CRM. Here is PyDrive, the example, this SaaS. Uh, they, are, they are very past in, in very entered at the late majority, the CRM. Uh, market penetration is real high in the United States. And then uh, we have the chat solutions for customer facing chat solutions, typical chats that we have in the webs like intercom. According to some, um, some portals, the market penetration is well past the 85%. I would say that uh, it's, uh, this market category is in, uh, is in the laggards, it's in a late market. So the two main ways of product adoption that we can expect and this is something that we know, and this is something that uh, always is going to happen in technology markets. The first wave of adoption is uh, with the innovators and the early adopters. That's the early market. And the second wave of adoption starts in the early majority, and it goes all the way through early majority and late majority. That means that the mainstream is where the biggest opportunity is. So to define the time to scale, because this course is about accelerating the time to scale, what do um, I mean while well, talking about accelerating time to scale? So I'm going to help you to go from this first wave to the second wave, because this is where the majority of the opportunity is in the second wave of adoption for your technology. 
and that's where real scale happens. So this is the point of time to scale, is where markets are starting to be more crowded with competition. And why this happened? Why is so difficult? And why there are two waves of adoption? Well, it's because the psychographic characteristics of early adopters and early majority are very different. Uh, that means they have different needs and goals. So basically, early adopters, they want to achieve a vision and gain competitive advantage, while the early majority has nothing to do with that. They just want an incremental improvement, solving a specific problem. But if we dig deeper in their psychographic characteristics, uh, the early adopters, they are visionaries and they are supportive with the technology and they envision uh, strategic applications uh, for the new products and, the, and technology of your SaaS. And they are attracted by high risk, but with high reward propositions. On the opposite, early majority that has they have uh, they have not they has nothing to do with this. Um, they are really skeptical and they are pragmatist in their approach to technology. That means they are prudent uh, and they are more risk averse, and they hate disruption in the operation. So think about your product; it's it is disruptive for their day to day. Well, if that's the case, we're probably having problems to cross to the early majority and go to the mainstream. And what about the needs? Well, early adopter, they need a high degree of customization performance. That's the reason because they want, they ask for a lot of features and what they want is a rapid time to market and, and having these features, good performance uh, and really good user experience. I mean, it's all about the technology in the product and the product itself, the core features of the product. While the early majority, they are really different here. They don't care that much about performance or how quick is our product um, uh, or, or how rapid we are with the time to market. They care more about having good references from trusted colleagues because they are more risk averse and they hate dis disruption. So they need all components of the product available and tested while the early adopters, uh, they uh, are more open to try a boogie solution. Early majority, they don't want to try any kind of bug or untested solutions. They don't want to, to stay ahead. Uh, what are the typical symptoms when we are trying to cross from the early, early adopters to the early majority? So we can experience uh, um, a reduction in, in the in the sales traction, longer sales cycles, reduce market share, increased customer acquisition cost, and reduce conversion. And then I said, where the full scale really is, is the mainstream. Here are the numbers. Early market, if you did uh, 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 the operation and uh, innovators plus early adopters are just 60% of any given market, approximate leaders are uh, approximate numbers, while the mainstream and the early majority and the late majority, they account for 68% of any given market. So that's where the full scale is. And I want to help you out to achieve that mainstream penetration so that you can achieve full scale. But for that to happen, we need to do things differently to accelerate this time to scale because we need different selling approaches. As I said, early adopter and early majority are different. So here is the different approaches that we need to take in our business early adopters, horizontal messages and positioning, then we, they, for them, the competition is between market categories because they compare in different market categories. They are all day exploring different solutions. They care about core features and, and uh, they are willing to try incomplete products. They want something new and unique and they focus on solution benefits. While the early majority on the other side, they want vertical messages, uh, positioning, uh, we need to narrow down to a niche and they like to go with the leader of the market because it's a low risk value proposition going with the market leader. Then the competition for them is in a specific market category. They look for solutions to compare inside a specific market category and they want low risk, a complete offering. That means not only the product core, the, product, the core product, but they were looking for a good service support service, pre, post, training services, all this kind of stuff. They want proven work solutions and they want to compare with competition because that validates the market and that means that they are not trying the very first this kind of product, this kind of SaaS. So there should be competition for them. And they focus a lot on adoption costs. 
So very different uh, approaches, the ones that we need. And this is what we'll dig deeper during the next uh, um, lessons of the course, how to sell to the early majority and how to conquer the mainstream so that we can accelerate that time to scale because where scale really is, is in that mainstream, starting with the early majority. So now, what can you do today to accelerate the time to scale? So this is about understanding a little bit more your market and the kind of customers and where in that technology adoption life cycle is your market category and your technology. So first of all, identify your product's market category. That box in the people's mind, I was talking in the first email. If you are creating a new market category, write five potential box names that your target customer would understand. And then talk to two customers, two leads that decided not to buy your product, they might have a real good clues on how to um, convince because they might be um, early majority, and then talk with two experts in the domain. And the goal is to understand which market category resonates the most with them, yeah, research that. About market category, we need to start developing or, or defining that market category if you are in an early market to accelerate the time to scale. That's the very first step is define what market category uh, are we in or do we want to create. Then understand what is the perceived risks of adopting our product. The risk aversion is a cornerstone of our um, scale acceleration strategy. So we need to understand what are the perceived risks of adopting our SaaS, our technology, our product. And we need to learn how much our customer needs to learn or change the behavior or change the way they do a process to adopt our SaaS. We need to understand how disruptive it is our SaaS for their lives and for their work and why. And then we need to understand where in the technology adoption phase is uh, our product. So this is about reflecting as the very basics and the foundation for the next chapters in which we, we will learn how to sell to the early majority to accelerate our time to scale. Thank you so much.